Good morning everybody. In today's class, we are going to study about the chapter Heredity and Evolution of class 10. Here we can see a picture, a picture of garden pea, the plant on which Mendel experiment. In the picture, there are seven characters given. Flower color, seed shape, seed color, pod color, pod shape, plant height, and flower position. Every character here is present in two alternating forms. Like flower color is present in two varieties. One is purple, another is white. Likewise, seed shape is present in two varieties. One is round, another is wrinkled. Likewise, every character has got two different varieties. Seed color, yellow, green pod color green yellow pod shape inflated constricted plant height tall short flower position axial terminal next let's study about how Mendel carried out his experiment Mendel conducted hybridization experiments on garden pea pisum sativum for seven years and proposed the law of inheritance in living organisms. There were certain reasons for his selection of pea plant. Let's see all what were those reasons. The first reason is number one, the main reason for adopting garden pea or pisum sativum for experiments by, by mental work, pea has many distinct contrasting characters. Second, lifespan of pea plant was short. Number three, flowers shows self-pollination, reproductive worlds being enclosed by corolla. The last one, it is easy to artificially cross-pollinate pea flowers. The hybrids thus produced were fertile. Let's see what was his working method. Mendel's success was due to his meticulous planning and method of work. He studied one character at a time. He used all available techniques to avoid cross-pollination by undesirable pollen grains. He applied mathematics and statistics to analyze the results obtained by him. Mendel conduct, conducted artificial hybridization or cross-pollination using true breeding pea lines. True breeding lines are those that undergo continuous self-pollination and show suitable trait inheritance. I'm sorry, and shows stable trait inheritance. Hybridization experiment includes emasculation, that is, removal of anther and transfer of pollen that is pollination here is the picture of emasculation it's nothing but the removal of anther with the help of scissors the here we can see two variety of uh, flower color one which is purple in color and the other which is white in color the purple colored flower is a female one whereas the white colored flower is a male. In order to make the flower a female one, Mendel removed all the stamen. After removing the stamen for cross pollination or cross breeding, Mendel collected the desired pollen grains from the white colored flower and spread it on the stigmatic surface of the purple flower. This is how he carried out cross-pollination cross or hybridization. Next, the, the cross that he carried out is called monohybrid cross. Mendel crossed tall and dwarf pea plant and collected all seeds obtained from this cross. He grew all seeds to generate plants of first hybrid generation called F1 generation. He observed that, that the plants are tall. Similar observation was also found in other pair of traits. 
This is the picture of monohybrid cross. The first step in monohybrid cross is to write down the phenotype of parents. The first one is pure tall and the next one is pure dwarf. Next, write down the genotype. For pure tall, it is capital T, capital T. And for pure drop, it is small t, small t. Next, there is formation or production of gametes. For, from the parent pure tall, gamete produced will have capital T. And from the parent pure dwarf, the gamete produced will be of one type that is small t. When these two gametes fuse together, there is the formation of hybrid tall offspring, that is capital T, small t. Then, on selfing or self-fertilization, we get the result out of which the phenotypic ratio is found to be 3 tall and 1 dwarf. And the genotypic ratio is found to be 1 pure tall, 2 hybrid tall and and one pure dwarf. This could be obtained by putting a checkerboard which is also called as a Punnett square. Based upon the results, Mendel gave principles, the principle or the law of inheritance. Based on the monohybrid, based on the observation of monohybrid cross, Mendel proposed two laws of inheritance. The first law is the law of dominance. It states that a character is controlled by discrete units called factors or genes. Factors always occur in pair. In dissimilar pair of factors, one member of pair dominate the other. He also gave out another law, the second law, which is called as the law of segregation. It states that Alleles do not blend and both are characters both the characters are recovered during gamete formation as in F2 generation. During gamete formation, traits segregate or separate from each other and passes to different gametes. Homozygous produce similar kind of gametes, but heterozygous produce different types of gametes with different traits. That's all for today's class. We'll continue in the next class. Thank you.